finally, finally, I have managed to master one of the operators in Battlefield 2042. I've gotten kind of burnt out on it, so I got a little frustrated, but I grinded it out and I got our first mastery on Liz, the easiest character to master, probably. We all know her. She's the guided rocket launcher engineer class that I personally think is the most useful in the Conquest game mode because I've stated this before, the most useful thing you can do in Battlefield is destroy tanks and deal constant pressure to air vehicles. This is Scrape Town, and we're going to go through a really quick overview of Liz. So Liz's rocket launcher, you get two of them at the start of each life, and they are, they were at one point incredibly overpowered, and they've nerfed them a bit now, but I still think they're wicked, wicked good for taking out helicopters. I think that you should mainly aim at helicopters and air vehicles when you're using this, but I wouldn't shy away from firing at ground targets as well. That being said, the vehicles that you can one-shot with her rocket launcher are the Scout Heli, the Stealth Heli, the Pickup Truck, the Dune Buggy, any of those little cars. People just used to get around the map a little faster. It can two-shot the LAV transport with, you know, the 30 millimeter, 50 millimeter on top of it. But I would say its biggest use and the best thing you can do with it is to just target aircraft with it. You can shoot down jets pretty easy with it too. It's, it's a one hit on jets. But for example, if you see a helicopter in uh, an aerial fight and you shoot your rocket launcher at it, it'll start pinging it like a lock-on is being shot towards it, so it'll flare or whatever and try to evade it, which could lead to it being hit by an actual lock-on, which could do a lot more damage from another helicopter or someone in the ground with a stinger or the Wildcat Mobile AA. But when it comes to dealing with tanks, I would say the best thing you can do with them is just to constant have pressure on them, just like the aircraft. If you're in a big firefight in a big field, firing up your rocket launcher, just going prone and firing it straight up, finding a tank and hitting with it can make it pop its active armor or make it get away from the fight or pop its smoke to try and get rid of the rock on the things that's coming. But like I said before, you can still do damage to these guys, so I would just constantly do pressure on them and continue to fire at them. Whenever you see a tank begin to have fire underneath the head or turret, that's when you can lick your chops when you're going in and take down a tank because you're going to one-shot it once you hit it, and that's the most satisfying thing in the world when you take out one of those babies like that. The most fun thing you can do with Liz, I think, is what I call the old one-two punch. If you have an EMP grenade, it's an uh, impact grenade, essentially. It goes off, you know, it disables your HUD, all that kind of stuff. But for a vehicle, it disables its weaponry, which is incredibly overpowered, I think, because if you're dealing with a fast-moving tank or just a heavy tank right next to you, throw that thing on top of it. It can't do anything except run away from you. So what I like to do is throw that at it, basically negate its ability to kill you, hit it with a rocket launcher or two, pop some C4 onto it, and just take it out. It can also just allow you to get away from the situation. Also remember those EMP grenades can two-shot the robot dog and can also one-shot uh, the turret and can take out any gadget. Like I said before, it's incredibly overpowered and I always, always run with it. I also kind of think it runs like a flash man. It can also detonate C4 and landmines that are already on the ground. So a quick recap, what you should be doing with Liz is constant pressure to helicopters and aircraft. All, all damage and the same thing for armor. Also, remember, the thing basically has zero splash damage. So if you're going to try and target a sniper or someone being annoying far away, suppressing your position, you got to shoot it up and you have to hit them directly with it. That's the only way to get infantry kills with it, unless the person's already at incredibly low health and you land it right at their feet. I've only ever gotten one infantry double kill with a rocket launcher, with Liz's rocket launcher. That's the only time I've ever been able to do it. But why don't you guys leave in the comments down below what you think I should do for my next Operator Mastery. I'm kind of thinking of Dozer. I think his shield is pretty fun to use, especially on Rush. I think it's a very underused ability in the sense that you can traverse very long patches of ground, especially when you're moving up to the next objective, and it's really hard for them to hit you with that shield up. So with that being said, this is Scrape Town. Thank you for stopping by and watching, and have a good one. Two was just lost. Tango, Tango. Getting hot. We're doing this. Tango, jump in. A trip's 
Just captured Sector Charlie. 